My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Chromebook and voice typing within Google Docs to save heaps of time. Now, let's dive into it by simply opening up a Google Docs. Now, this will work on any Chromebook or any device that has Google Docs open. So let's go ahead and find voice typing. Where is it? Well, it's in your tools menu. So go ahead and find your tools menu, scroll down, and there you will find voice typing. If this is the very first time that you're using voice typing, then you will have to give it access to your microphone. Now, an internal microphone usually works just fine. An external microphone will pick up even more detail when you're speaking. Now, in order for Google Docs to be able to access that microphone, you're going to have to give it permission. Now, the first time you tap on this brand new icon, the microphone icon, it is going to ask you for access. Go ahead and give it access to your microphone and you will see that the color changes from a gray color into a red circle. This red circle indicates that Google Docs is listening to everything you say. As soon as it's read, you can start speaking and every word you say will be written down in a Google document. That in itself is not enough and Google has thought of this. So there are numerous voice commands available that you can use in voice typing to make voice typing much faster, quicker and even allow you to add some editing. So let me just quickly demonstrate the basic voice typing functionality. This is going to be a basic demonstration of just how easy it is to use voice typing in Google Docs, period. Not only can you use this to quickly type everything you speak into a Google document, comma, you can also use this to annotate an interview or an entire lesson, full stop. And there you go. As you see, it picks up every word I say and it types it down accurately and with correct punctuation. Now we're going to take this a little bit further. We're going to add some basic formatting. Now I will leave a link in the description below to the complete help document that is going to show you all the different voice commands. But today I'm going to just highlight two that I think you will enjoy. So let's go ahead and look at what these do. I'm going to tap my microphone one more time so it starts recording. And this time I'm going to add some formatting, full stop. Text color red. As you can see, I have now changed the text color, full stop. Text color blue. And we can keep changing this and we can use every single color Google uses in their logo, period. Text color green. You see that the text briefly appears onto the screen and then Google interprets this and quickly switches between the different colors, period. Text color black. And now we're back to regular text, full stop. Italics. That's right, you can even add some other types of formatting, full stop. So as you can see, as with shortcuts and typing, you can also use voice commands and these are like shortcuts that allow you to do many different things. There are dozens of voice commands available built into voice typing and that's why I would highly recommend that you check out that link below. Now, one more thing I'd like to say before we end this video and that's please do share this out. We have a brand new URL that you can use to find our channel and these tips and tricks and that is video.org appsevents.com. In addition to this, don't forget to tweet this out, use the hashtag GooglePD and I would love to hear what you thought of this video, how you're going to use Google voice typing, have you used it before and what would you like to see added to voice type. This was another tips and tricks with Apps Events and Acer. Jump onto your Chromebook, let me know if this works, what you like about it, what would you like to see improved and we will be back in another video with even more tips and tricks. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.